Hi everybody, my name is Brent Atwater. I'm the animal medium. That's right, I see and talk to pets on the other side. And yep, it's that time of year where we gotta get ready and take off that extra eggnog. But one of the things I wanted to do today was to clarify something that one of our fan family members shared with me. And they said, Brent, you say that the number one sign from deceased pets is crying. And that when you feel them near, you cry. And then you also say that crying pushes away a pet. So I really would like to clarify that because it's a difference. It's the difference in positive crying and negative crying, if there's such a thing. When I say the number one sign from deceased pets on the other side sending you a sign, what I mean is that all of a sudden at Walmart, you'll just go, oh, and you'll start crying and thinking about Fluffy. That's because Fluffy's bumped up to you and he's coming to your energy field and now is touching your heart so that your heart cries. Or you'll be driving your car and you'll burst into tears because you hear a song and you think of Fluffy. Well, every time you think of spirit in a positive way and it activates crying, that's because the pet is near. And it's, like I said in the previous video, it touches your heart. Your heart tells your mind it's tender. Your emotions get involved and then you cry. And that's a sign that pet spirit is bumping up next to you. And that's a good thing. That's what you want. And that's the kind of crying you'd like to have. Now, the kind that pushes Fluffy away is when you have excessive negative crying. I'll never see Fluffy again. Negative cry, cry, cry. I'm never going to be with Fluffy again. Cry, cry, cry. I never want to be without Fluffy again. Cry, cry, cry. Oh, poor me. What will I do without Fluffy in my life? Cry, cry, cry. That's all energy that pushes Fluffy away. That's what we call negative crying. But everybody knows what happy crying is. Now, sometimes you're just plain crying. And a lot of times when you're crying, you'll just sort of feel warm and you'll start sobbing quietly. And that's normally when pet spirit has come behind you, wrapped you in their little energy, and given you a hug because you're, <laughs> you're in that kind of crying. And that's when pet spirit is hugging you and making it all right. So I hope that that clarifies the two kinds of crying. One crying is based on negative. That's right, negative. And that's the kind of crying that pushes Fluffy away. When it's associated with negative thoughts, negative expectations, everything that's not going to happen and won't work. Okay? The sign that Fluffy's there pushing and bumping into your energy field so we can say, Mom, come on, is all of a sudden you burst out crying down the road. You're at Walmart and you cry. Unexpected little cryings. Looking at a picture and going, oh, you're looking at Fluffy's picture and all of a sudden you start crying. Well, that's because Fluffy's gone. She's going to look at my picture. I'll give her a taste of my love too. And he walks up and he hugs you. So the difference is negative crying with a negative base that has a staccato type energy that pushes the pet spirit away. But the other that is pure love from the heart, that normally draws the pet to you and allows the pet to hug you and be close to you. And the spontaneous, where you just, I don't know why, but I just broke down over when I walked through the drive through That was Fluffy going to the drive-in with you. Or I looked at his picture and that's Fluffy going with you. Or I touched his cremation remains. That was Fluffy going, hey, Mom, it's all right. It was Fluffy putting you under his wings and going, it's okay. So I hope that clarifies it. If you have questions, send them to www.brentatwater.com, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, or in our Facebook group that we list below. We invite you to also listen to our Pet Life Radio. My show is alive again. That's right. And we have lots of podcasts over there that you can listen to 24-7 that'll help heal your heart. Now, if you want to learn to connect with your pet, I've got a book, After Death Signs, and the difference between my book and all the others is my book teaches you how to have Fluffy put his paw in your hand or to see, feel, smell, and get Fluffy to answer questions in your dreams. We're trying to help you. I'm sorry we have to meet this way, but my job is to let you know that unlike the Rainbow Bridge theory, Fluffy's dead, you got to die to be with him, 
there's a whole nother world out there called animal life after death and pet afterlife. And that's where your fluffy is. Because if you subscribe to the other, every day, every minute that you're crying over dead fluffy is wasted time that you could be sharing signs with alive and well fluffy in spirit form that has just transitioned out of his pet suit. That's all. We look forward to seeing you. All right, I got to go walk that mile and a half, so y'all have a good day. Bye, bye, bye.